So he became my friend. And then I was like, I realized he's very great teacher. And I was like, um, well, he's young, but he teaches with such a maturity. Mm -hmm. And I want uh, my students, not just my students, but I want people to learn from him. Mm -hmm. And then we were talking and I'm very happy we are able to bring him here. You mm -hmm. know, the mm -hmm. students are very happy with his teaching and very inspired to, to uh, practice more. I am more inspired to practice, so I feel happy. And then for me, that's great. I'm happy. Cool. Yeah, absolutely. Love it. I, I, I have a question, Pablo, and maybe maybe not necessarily on a technical aspect, but what, what do you notice that today um, students and, and, and um, what, are, what are they doing well today? And what are what are areas that maybe they that you see generally that they need to improve? Obviously, everybody's different, but but generally speaking, like do you see some patterns of of what um, people are excelling at today uh, musically or in with the piano and what things um, you know that that were maybe maybe teachers are need to focus on as a teacher? Yeah, I think that individuality is very important because nowadays, uh, of course, some people are very individual still. But uh, it's much more difficult to find this because there are recordings everywhere, recordings in YouTube, in you know, Spotify. Nowadays, much more many pianists than, for instance, 40 years ago, only in China, 40 million pianists or 50 million. Can you imagine? So what we need uh, to find, I think, is individuality. Uh, the, the someone who is able to say something different, which is also not easy, you see, because there are so many performances. But I think um, I would suggest to think by themselves. You see, there are plenty of pianists, less musicians. There are, of course, uh, very good musicians, but not as many as pianists.